This is the Uptick Network Stock Day Podcast, sponsored by InvestorsHangout.com. Penny stock news and interviews from the microcap world. Public information on OTC, pink sheets, and microcap stocks from around the world. With your host, Everett Jolly. On today's show, we have a very, very exciting guest. His business has been around for 47 years. He is the chairman. His name is Angelo De Rosa. He uh, was Sterling Consolidated Corp, and they traded under the ticker symbol STCC. Angelo, it is a privilege for uh, you to come on my show, and I thank you very much. Well, thank you for having me. Give me a little bit of history of yourself and the company. Like I said, your company's been around for around 47 years. So take us through a little bit of that process before we get into everything. Okay, a little bit of history myself is I went to Fairleigh Dickinson on a full basketball scholarship and uh, got two years of that, went into the Army, came out, and then went to work in a Teflon processing plant and uh, learn the Teflon processing business and all about PTFE. And then from there, I took a sales job with uh, W.S. Shambayan and Company, Fort Wayne, Indiana, in aerospace. And in 69, I started Sterling, actually, the company's called Sterling uh, Plastic and Rubber Products, Inc. Uh, I started that in 69, and in 1970, I incorporated with a gentleman who owned a chemical company called Beckridge Chemical Company. And we partnered up. And I had five accounts come with me uh, in the Teflon processing, which I brought the uh, distribution art market to it. And he had over 400 companies that he was doing business in the chemical industry. So what I did was in 70, I went after those 400 companies selling them Teflon products. And it worked out. So in 71, I hired my first salesman. In 74, I hired two people, one to do shipping and receiving and one to do book, the books and answer the phones. So it freed me up to go out and make sales calls uh, locally to all these chemical companies. And from there we went. We, from there we went to South Amboy. We bought a building in South Amboy, and then from there in 1999 we bought a building in Cliffwood Beach. And the business has been steadily, very slowly growing. It grew every year except when we had recessions in the 80s. <clears throat> it would stagnate a little bit. Well, we never had a problem. We very rarely laid anybody off. It's just recently we laid some people off because of the volume of people that we have. We have, you know, we had 32 employees, which were a little overburdened. So we cleaned we cleaned up a little bit back in June, July, and August of last year, and uh, we went from there. So that's basically the basic of the company. We're a wholesale we're a wholesale O-ring uh, hydraulic seal distribution company located in Neptune, New Jersey, in a 28,500 square foot building. That's basically it. My guest today is Angelo Del Rosa. He is the chairman and founder of Sterling Consolidated Corp, uh, trading under the ticker symbol STCC. Now, asset-wise, what do you think your assets added up there at the company are? Uh, we're a little over, we have, you mean our total assets? Yes. Probably close to about four million. I'm bringing this up for a reason. And I want, my I want my listeners to listen to this. Their assets are around four million, their revenues are around six million, and their market cap is only at 1.4 million. I've been doing, That's correct. I, I've been doing this for 25 years, I'm 50 something years old. And your stock price is just a little bit south of four cents. You guys are completely undervalued. You guys should be trading above 30 cents a share. To me, that's fair value. That's just my opinion, and uh, I just think that you guys are a great buy here. Why did you guys? Well, I, I have to agree with you. Why did you guys <laughs> go public? If you could tell me that, Angelo. Well, uh, we were approached by uh, a lifelong friend of my son who worked, worked for Goldman Sachs, and he said, uh, and, "And I, my son was is in the business." So we sat down with him, and he explained on how to go public. He had a methodology that he would like to try. To go public and we were his first company that he, we, we t he took public but we listened to him and we, we determined that for us to grow and go to we, our, like our goal is to hit 10 million for us to grow we needed the working capital that the Apollo offering could do so we, we put our heads together and the three of us uh, took the company public in 2012 um, subsequently since we have gone public we purchased two companies, 
uh, one in Pennsylvania, one in North Carolina. Mom and Papa businesses, but they had niche marketplaces. Like the one in Pennsylvania uh, is in the oil and mining business, and they, their biggest account manufactures uh, drilling and mining equipment, and that's our biggest account in Pennsylvania. Absolutely. In North Carolina, in North Carolina, the gentleman we bought his company, and uh, his biggest accounts are local, but he's a specialist in mechanical seals, and we needed that marketplace, so he's he's building the business now with that. So that's how we get. That's how we got those two businesses as a result of going public. So we offered them some stock, we offered them cash, and we took them public. They're a part of our. They're our group of five, five warehouses. Awesome. And that, that's worked out pretty well because what we've done is, because of the slide in oil and gas drilling and and uh, um, the uh, coal mining industry dropping so drastically in the last couple of years, that business has dropped off in in Pennsylvania. But subsequently, our our uh, Pennsylvania warehouse is do- uh, not Pennsylvania. Excuse me, North Carolina is doing quite well because they're doing what they call clicker press gasket stamping and mechanical seals, and their business is picking up. So we're very happy with that that particular acquisition. And now we've moved people from New Jersey. We moved a person out there to run our Pennsylvania warehouse to get that off the ground and get it going. And that's what we have a 29 year old kid that works here for about five years we put him out there he was he couldn't he was frothing at the mouth so to speak to get to get his hands on running a business absolutely so we, we gave him the rain we gave him the reins so he's he's turning a profit my guest today is angelo del rosa he is the founder and chairman of sterling consolidated corp they trade under the ticker symbol stcc now angelo let me ask you this you guys are a supplier of hydraulic and pneumatic seals. What makes Sterling Consolidated Corp so special? We have in stock 44,000 different line items. Um, our specialty is you, you can call me at 530 at night, and if I have the parts in stock, they go out that night. I don't care what the quantity is or the size. And I, we have two miles from our warehouse here is a uh, UPS main, one of the main UPS stations in Tinton Falls. So I have no qualms about when people call up and say, I need it out today, we do it. And we have, we built our business that way. But in the very beginning, I was mostly original equipment manufacturer oriented and I would call on major, major OEMs. And that's, that's how we go, went, excuse me, how we went. But what happened over the course of the first 20 years in business, New Jersey took a, a south turn, so to speak, on manufacturing in the state, and they were and the DEP in this state was death on uh, companies uh, in the chemical in, the chemical processing industry. And when you have that, you know, a major like Engelhard Minerals and Chemicals, you have hundreds, if not thousands, of little companies that feed into Engelhard Minerals and Chemicals and Exxon Mobil because they're in Linden, and they need parts. And we were here with parts. We always had the American Standard. Uh, five most commonly sold sizes of uh, compounds in uh, the United States, we had them in stock, and that's how we built the business. So let me but get this straight. Happened, but, I just want to get this straight. You guys are not a manufacturer of the parts. You guys are a distribution company. Is that correct? That is correct. Okay. That is correct. The only, the only manufacturing, if you want to call it that, is if you call up and say, I want a 30-inch 30, 30 or a 40 or a 50 or a 10-foot diameter O-ring, Mm-hmm. We make that. We would make that in Florida, in our Florida warehouse. I see. We have to have the facilities to do that, and we do it all the time. Somebody call up and say, "I need four O-rings, forty-five inches by uh, three-eighths of an inch cross section." We will make those four O-rings or six O-rings, whatever it is, in Florida, and ship it to them the same day. Tell me about your future plans. Is it true you guys have over three thousand customers? Thirty, about thirty-eight hundred. Wow! Right now, yeah. No, and the, why I built this business and how I built this business was I took the attitude of, hey, I'm not going to be in bed with one customer who if I, he goes belly up, I go down the tubes. That's right. So I went after all I went after all the small accounts initially. I went after all the small accounts in New Jersey because our competitor in the O-ring business, he could care less about the $10,000 or the $5,000 accounts. I worshipped him. Right. And that's, that's the way I ran. I still run my business to that day. 
I get a five hundred dollar loan. It's free. So, so what do we have uh, a future plans going on for for Sterling Consolidated in two thousand sixteen and two thousand seventeen? Where do you see the, the the growth coming from? Well, I well, as I explained previously, I explained that we see growth by 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 uh, purchasing small small companies. Absolutely, we're looking at we're looking at one right now in New Jersey who has uh, about. I think we looked at his numbers. His numbers were two and a half million dollars in sales, but they, the two partners, were taking a, a substantial amount of money out of the business. If we could get them, convince them to to merge with us, we would bring that. We would absorb that right into this build, building, and we would cut our overhead expenses like on them, like forty, forty-five, fifty percent, because they don't need the people. We have the people here. He would. They would get rid of the eight people that they have. We would bring them to the business in here. And they wouldn't miss a beat. It would be done on a weekend. Boom, done. We're back. We're in their business. Give me, how, how long does it take to replace an O-ring? Are we, you know, like on tires, you know, every 60,000 miles you replace a tire. What's the longevity of an O-ring? Depends on the application. Just remember, rubber, uh, if you ran a heat curve up, rubber would go just the opposite, go down. The life of rubber decreases as the heat increases. So if you did an X... As the heat goes up, the life of rubber goes down. Okay? I see. Friction, friction, friction uh, in dynamic ceiling, friction destroys a rubber O-ring in, in the long run. My guest today is Angelo Del Rosso. He is the founder and chairman of Sterling Consolidated Corp, uh, trading under the ticker symbol STCC. Angelo, in closing, is there anything that you'd like to go over and get out to my listeners that you and I have did not touch upon? Uh, no, basically, I think we covered pretty much what the company is and where the company is going. Um, I'm with you on the fact that I think our stock is very undervalued. And be uh, based on what I know, and I've been around a few years, um, I just think, I just think it, it's, it's an inflection on, on I, I guess it's an inflection on us not promoting the stock as well as we should. And we're, gonna, we're, we're gearing up now that we're very – we're making a profit this year substantially over last year. We're showing a loss in 2015, but this year so far, the first quarter plus April and into May already, we're, all, we're, we're profitable, which we weren't. Uh, once, once we got over that initial going public costs, now we're starting to turn a profit with our, our uh, uh, cutting, back, cutting back a lot of our overhead expenses, and we're starting to show a profit. So that's going to help us go forward to buy this one company here in New Jersey. And I, I can look next year, look forward to picking up at least two companies next year. Because now we're going to have the stock price. Hopefully the stock price will go up and uh, we'll be able to use that as a leverage. <laughs> My guest has been uh, Angelo Del Rosa. He was the founder. He is the founder and chairman of Sterling Consolidated Corp, trading under the ticker symbol STCC. Angelo, thank you very much for coming on Stock Day. Uh, it's a privilege to have you on my show, and I'm, I'm going to get back with you in a couple of months and see how things are going on over there. Uh, well, it's my pleasure. Thank you for having me on.